Mohra Gudangan Hu, Lord the Walker Hu. My mother was brought up in the North Manahan, where the three counties meet County Fermanagh, County Tyrone, and County Monaghan. And every May morning, she would bring us down to the boggy land or to the lakes and we would pick mayflowers and uh, we took the mayflowers back with us here to the house. We would place one mayflower on the doorstep and the belief was, my mother believed, and the whole countryside believed, that if you did that it brought good luck. That was a very common ritual among people from North Monaghan. Well, Monaghan accommodated a lot of people who were forced to leave the north of Ireland uh, during the Troubles. A lot of the people that had to leave the north, they were forced out. There was, uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, burning, houses being burnt, the whole streets being burnt. People just got out, they couldn't stay there any longer and, um, and they came to live on this side of the border. So there's unmarked roads everywhere around here. But in, in those days the unmarked roads were all manned by British soldiers. There was no such thing. They, and they had a dike in them to blew them up. Well, people would go over the hedge in the field. You go, you go they made their own crossings. So <laughs> you could overcome that. And so there are ways and means, like you just made a hole in the hedge or you made a gap in the hedge. There were soldiers, you know, who were uh, stationed on the border, young and British soldiers, but they didn't know what they were doing there, probably a lot of them. And it's not funny, some of the soldiers, like I remember one day, picked up some of the Irish words that we would still have in uh, the English language, you know, Hiberno English, which is very, very rich in Irish words. One day I was travelling down and a British soldier uh, asked me uh, had I anything in my boot and he said do you have a hit in the boot? Using the Irish genitive of shed or article of value and I said down the hit back to him and he picked that expression up from listening to people which was lovely <laughs> and I just thought wow I mean that's amazing that he was interested enough to pick that word up. Like my mother used to say to me, she would go out to the garden and get some kippings and um, brusna. Brusna and kippings. Brusna is a mixture of dried grass and little sticks, dry sticks that would light a fire and light that fire.
why wouldn't I become uh, as good as I can at my own language or try try to become? I, 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 the question should be, why aren't you interest, interested in your own language? You know, and it, it's a question we all have to ask ourselves. Names of places and names of people were uh, destroyed, where the meaning of those, of course, were destroyed when they were anglicised. Nilana Gihila and a scallop. The windy day isn't the day that you uh, um, cut your corn or you cut your, your grass because the wind will blow everything away. So if people are out harvesting on a windy day, it's, it's difficult. Uh, the day of the wind is not the day to harvest. Uh, there, are, there are lots of other of wonderful, wonderful sayings in Irish, you know, which reflect actually the way people lived. That was all lost, you know, the, the habits and customs of the people when the language went. Mass rocks were built by the people in far out places where the police wouldn't be able to find them. They were called the mass rocks. And in fact, there's a beautiful tune that was written. On road to Erangarig. I was very lo lucky to be exposed to all this. I, I consider myself to be a very lucky person. I'm old enough to to know um, the old Irish lettering and that, and to read that kind of Irish. For instance, the headstone, uh, writing on the headstone for my son is in Irish, and it's in the old Irish, because the original Irish on the headstone is in the old Irish. Come away, O oh, foolish child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world is full of troubles. And, and, and continue on straight across the next road. Yes. And then you go a wee bit, turn right. 